Yes, One more time, somebody say, God is awesome. God is awesome. And so we greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And those of, us, those of you who are watching us um, via streaming, this is Pastor Olo Hazel. And we pastor here at Global Light Church. And so you're listening to us as we stream live from Global Light Church. And we greet everyone that's here in the church. And we greet all those who will be watching on YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter, all over the place. We send the word of God. Amen. Amen. So that our lives can be impacted by the word. Amen. Amen. And we've been talking about a supernatural people. Somebody says supernatural people. And then we ended up talking about the supernatural fire. Somebody said the supernatural fire. Supernatural and the supernatural fire. fire is for you. Somebody said the supernatural is for me. And the supernatural fire is for me. You see, everything that you see in the natural realm, I mean, came out of the supernatural. The supernatural is more real than the natural and the physical. Uh, somebody say hallelujah. And so we're going to talk about the supernatural fire that is for us and the supernatural fire that is for every believer. Somebody said the supernatural fire is for every believer. You're going to talk back to me this morning. Somebody said the supernatural fire is for every believer. Touch your somebody said the supernatural fire is for every believer. The supernatural fire is for our islands. Our islands, they are in need of the fire of God. Somebody say hallelujah. And we are the ones who are supposed to be the fire carriers. We are supposed to be the gospel arsonist. Do you know what an arsonist is? The one who starts a fire. Somebody say, uh -huh. come on, somebody says, be, 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 be a kingdom arsonist. Does somebody say, be a kingdom arsonist. Wherever you go, you start a fire. Somebody say, hallelujah. I'll tell you, our island is in need of the supernatural fire of God. Somebody say, our island. Is in need of the what? Supernatural. Hallelujah. Our whopper is in need of the what? The supernatural fire of God. Somebody say hallelujah. I'm not hearing the church. I came to talk to you this morning. Our nation is in, in need of the what? The supernatural fire of God. Our White House is in need of what? The supernatural fire of God. Somebody say hallelujah. And so what has happened, uh, this church, Global Life Church, everybody open, uh, wake up and open your mouth and say something. Global Life Church is in need of the what? And the fire of God. Because when the fire of God is released, somebody said the fire of God is released. You see, uh, when the fire of God is released, uh, and even you are in the fire, like, the, like Shadrach, Misha, and the bad Negro, God's going to release another fire in the, the natural fire to preserve you. Somebody said, uh-huh. So I came here today to be a fire starter. Somebody said, uh -huh. I came here this morning to be a kingdom arsonist. Uh, to see if I could start some fire upon the fire that the enemy is throwing against you. So somebody said, uh -huh. Somebody, if you're bold, say, God, God start a fire. And the fire that the enemy wants to throw at me. Oh, I can't hear the house up in here early. The enemy always like to put us in fire, the fire of stress and distress, fire in our family, fire at work, fire uh, in our own personal finance and economy. But we need another fire. We need the fire of the Holy Ghost. Somebody say fire of the Holy Ghost. Somebody say hallelujah. And so what happened, we find that religion, religion is uh, toning down the fire. Somebody say, uh-huh. And uh, religion is turning down the fire that is in the Holy Ghost. Somebody say, uh-huh. And they're saying that the Holy Ghost is not for today. And the Holy Ghost fire is not for today. But we got to go on journey right back there. Somebody say, uh-huh. We, we, come on, the church is too dead. I did, the church needs some fire. Somebody say, hallelujah. The church needs some fire to give us some momentum. Somebody say, fire for momentum. I can't hear the house up in here. Somebody preach with the preacher and say, we need some, what, some fire for momentum. We need some supernatural fire that doesn't come from a preacher, but comes from the Holy Ghost. Somebody say, hallelujah. With all the chaos that's happening, I tell you, our islands and nation, they need to come to a church like Elijah's church and Mount Carmel to watch a church on fire. Somebody say, uh -huh. Elijah, the prophet, he set a church on fire up on the mountain. God is looking for some people to set themselves aflame so the world can come and watch them burn. Somebody say, hallelujah. Woo, somebody say, hallelujah. Somebody say, I'm a fire starter. Somebody said, I'm a kingdom art of arsonist. I'm not hearing you. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not compelled. Come on, somebody said, I'm a fire starter. 
I'm a kingdom member. I'm a kingdom arsonist. Uh, some guys, aha. Uh -huh. In the natural, the arsonist will go to your house and set your house on fire. I need some folks who will leave church today and set their house on fire. Ah, uh, somebody said, aha. Uh -huh. And then uh, folks in your community will start saying, uh, hey, hey, call me. You will say, hey, 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 yeah, you been a shame I see your house on fire. You say, aha. Uh -huh. And they call the fire truck. And when they come, it's Holy Ghost fire up in your house, up in your bedroom, up in your bathroom. I can't hear the house up in here. Ah, somebody said, uh huh. But, but, but what's happening in our, in, our, in our world today is that our religion, religion, religion is anti. And the thing is, it uh, is that it is a church. It's the church that's quenching the fire. Come on, somebody said, it's a church. Religious folks quenching the fire. Ah, somebody said, uh huh. Religious folks quenching the healing. Religious folks quenching uh, the baptism of the Holy Spirit. And they're saying it's not for today. Soon they're going to say salvation is not for today. But we need some uh, kingdom arsonist. Come on somebody say I want to be a what? Higher. Yeah, yeah. God's looking for some people, hallelujah, who can throw flame throws. God's looking for a tribe. Somebody say a tribe. A tribe of fire starters. Ah, come on, somebody say a tribe. A tribe. When we show up, we know you're going to be fire there. Ah, somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. Somebody shout fire. fire for our nation. Fire for our children. You see, when the fire, when the fire is released, uh, the enemy and religious folks don't like the fire because when the fire is released, uh, it purges you. Somebody say it what? It purges you, and all the gunk that's on the inside of you start flowing up uh, and start running off of you. Somebody say hallelujah. Why? Because uh, God is coming back for you. He's gonna say you want your well done. Tell somebody say God wants me. I got well done, no true and faithful servant. Uh, now you know what the preacher is saying. Tell somebody, God say, God wants to what? Well then, when you go to, down to the Burger King or when you go down to get your hamburger, when you go to get your chicken leg or the chicken wing, you say, well done. Or when you go to get your steak, you say, what? what? Well done. I can't hear the house up in here. But God wants you to be what? Well done. Ah, somebody say, well done. Thou good and faithful servant. So what is going to make you well done? So I say, well done. Well done. So come ask your neighbor, what you think is going to make you uh -huh, one more time, ask your neighbor again on the other side, what is going to make you what? Well done. What's going to make you well done? Don't you look the true and faithful servant. It is the fire of God. Come on, somebody say the fire, the fire, the fire. The fire that the church is afraid of. The fire that religious people is afraid of. The fire going to make you what? Well done. Oh my God, you're true and faithful servant. Somebody say hallelujah. And so what's lacking because of all the chaos that's happening in the church, chaos in the pew, chaos at the pulpit, chaos all over the place, and because the church lacks the fire of God, the supernatural fire of God needs to come back in the house of God. Somebody shout fire, fire. Come on, I can't hear somebody say fire. fire. Woo, somebody say hallelujah. I tell you, and, uh, in, in Matthew 3 and verse 11, Matthew 3 and verse 11, uh, I think I have them in my notes. Uh, it says, I indeed baptize you with water. You can see, read it with me. I, I indeed baptize you. Who? Call your name. Baptize oral with water unto repentance. Uh, yes, sir, but uh, he who is coming after me is mightier than I, whose sandals I am not worthy to carry. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and the fire. Somebody said, Jesus, uh, he is a baptizer with the Holy Spirit uh, and with fire. Somebody say, hallelujah. Yeah. The stuff that the religious people are throwing out the window and the church uh, is refusing to operate it. Somebody said, the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. And somebody said, and with fire. So, so if you want, hallelujah, to be baptized in the Holy Spirit, you just say, Jesus, uh, baptize me with the Holy Spirit. You don't even need a preacher, a deacon, a no one, a priest, a bishop. You lift your hands up in your bathroom. You lift your hands up in the church. You lift your up in the boat, your car, park your car to the side of the road. I say, Jesus, uh, baptize me with the Holy Spirit. Somebody say, what are we going to say? Jesus, baptize me with the Holy Spirit. Come on, let's say like thunder. Say, Jesus. Yes. baptize me with the Holy Spirit and he will do it and if you need the baptism of fire you bless up our hands and say Jesus uh, baptize me with your heavenly fire that was kind of low come on one more time somebody say Jesus baptize me with your heavenly fire oh that's what's lacking somebody say that's what's lacking and so we need it in our lives somebody say we need the fire of God in our lives 
We need the baptism of the Holy Spirit and we need, hallelujah, the fire baptism in our lives. And that's why we are, as Christians, we are, we are, we are so, we are so negligent to um, obey the word of God. And we are so quick to obey the devil. Yeah. I can't hear you. Somebody said, uh-huh. Uh -huh. Even up in the house. So what we need is a baptism of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. And then we run along and we need a baptism of the, of the fire of God. Somebody said, Hallelujah. Somebody said, baptize me. Ah, somebody said, hallelujah. Ah, we need a baptism of fire. Lift your hands up, somebody. Say, God, we need a baptism of fire. We need a baptism of fire. One more time, somebody said, we need a baptism of fire. Ah, one more time, lift your hands up and say, God, I need the baptism of fire. If we don't get the baptism of fire, that's why church is closed. That's why people are filled with the sin. That's why people are confused. Ah, somebody said, uh-huh. Because we need a baptism of fire. When the baptism of fire comes on the inside of you, the husband will treat his wife better. The wife will treat uh, his uh, um, uh, her husband better. Somebody say, uh-huh. Children will be in light. Somebody say, uh-huh. When the fire of God is upon you, you can just take your phone up uh, and talk to someone and transfer the fire. Somebody say, uh-huh. Somebody say, I'm a fire starter. Somebody say, hallelujah. The stuff that's in your way, the easy be set in sin that's in your life. When the fire, the preacher can't do it. The preacher can baptize you in water a million times. But it's when you ask the, um, Jesus to baptize you with fire, he will deal with the, uh, the, the little things, the foxes in your life. Yes. Somebody say, hallelujah. hallelujah. You know, we have Christians who say, I like it so. You know, you, you understand me. They like it so. They, they, they have not changed from the, the lifestyle they live when they were out in the world. So you need a fire. Come on, everybody shout and say, you need a fire? fire. Come on. There's so many people in the way. And they never ever experience the baptism of the Holy Spirit. And they never experience the fire of God. Yeah. Come on, come on. Somebody say, come on. Come on, come on your life is at stake. And your family's life is at stake. Somebody say hallelujah. You rub, you rub the, head, the head of your grandchildren. And you release the fire of God. Just, just don't be a nominal grandmother. Come on, come on, come on. Grandmothers and grandfathers. Somebody say hallelujah. When they come in and you put the two hands upon them. And knock the demons out of them. Somebody say hallelujah. Somebody say you need the fire. I, I can't hear. Somebody say you need the fire. Woo! Somebody say Hallelujah. So the fire deal with all the, the, the little foxes that want to steal your spirituality and Christianity. We got to get into the fire. Somebody said we got to get into the fire. We need What the church needs right now more than anything else is a fire movement. Somebody said, uh-huh. Because when the fire of the Holy Spirit comes upon you, we are talking about the, the concentrated fire from the Holy Spirit that hits your life. And that fire, when it hits you, you, you can't tell what was going to happen to you. It's like when you are and screw a socket of a bulb and you put your hand up in there, you go, you can never tell your reaction. Somebody said, um, Lean and ask somebody, are you ready? Oh, yeah, yeah, I can hear the church up in here now. Hey, are you ready for the fire? You see, the church becomes so saintly and so daintly and everything. My God, but we need a fire. Somebody say, we need a fire? Somebody say, hallelujah, fire, fire, fire. Somebody say, fire, fire. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Somebody say, we need a fire, the fire, the fire. Lord God, let the fire drop in the church upon the believers and those who are listening to us. Somebody say, hallelujah. Woo, somebody say hallelujah. The fire, the fire makes us well done, well done. The true and faithful servant. The fire, somebody say we need the fire to make us what? Well done. We need the fire that when we're in the natural fire and the physical fire, Jesus comes and Jesus the baptizer comes in the fire like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And then you look at us and say, I see a fourth man inside there. The fire starter came in the fire with the natural fire that the three Hebrew boys were in and start another fire. And the Holy Ghost fire protected them from the natural fire, physical fire. Somebody said, I need the Holy Ghost fire. I'm trying to convince some folk. Somebody say hallelujah. Don't stay in the natural and physical fire all by yourself. I said, Jesus, come on, somebody say, Jesus, yes. you are the baptizer in the fire. I mean, some natural fire here. Come on in, come on in, welcome in, in. come to bring the fire, hallelujah, of heaven in your life. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. And that fire will neutralize 
every fire of the devil, every fire of hell. Somebody said, aha. And that even equipped Jesus uh, to go to hell and say, ha, ha. And the devil thought, well, my fire will hot. I got you behind that here. No, no, no. He just went to him in, the, in hell. Jesus even went to hell with the Holy Ghost fire upon him and said, come, give, give me the keys of hell, death, and the grave. Somebody said, hallelujah. Somebody said, God bad. Somebody said, Jesus bad. I'm not hearing you want to talk in church. Somebody said, Jesus bad. So Jesus wants to baptize you. Somebody said, Jesus wants to baptize me with the fire. Somebody said, hallelujah. Somebody open your mouth and say, Jesus baptize me. I, I, I'm not convinced. Somebody said, Jesus could baptize me with your fire. Somebody said, hallelujah. You say, when I'm preaching this thing, the enemy want to come up to push back. But I'm pushing. Somebody said, hallelujah. I'm ready. I'm well prepared to push. Somebody said, hallelujah. Because the church needs a fire. Somebody said the church needs a what? The fire. And the fire in hell can stop the fire from coming up in the house. Because Jesus, uh, he is the ultimate fire starter. Somebody say hallelujah. So it doesn't matter how you feel right now. So you, 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 no matter how you feel, the fire, the fire. Somebody say the fire. Jesus is the ultimate fire starter. Somebody say hallelujah. Somebody say Jesus start your fire. Hallelujah. One more time, somebody say Jesus. Start your fire. Start your fire. Ay, ay, ay. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. We need some fire saints. We need some saints that are part of the fire tribe. Somebody say, God, I want to be a part of the fire tribe. Somebody I just say, look them there, coming from Global Action. They are the fire starters. They are the fire tribe. Somebody say hallelujah. Because we are connected to Jesus. Somebody say hallelujah. Woo, somebody say hallelujah. I tell you, we got to start a fire. I'm about starting a fire. Hallelujah. He says in Matthew 3, 12, he says, his winnowing fork. That, that's the winnowing fork blowing. The blowing, it blows as it goes through the shaft. His winnowing fork is in his hand to clear his threshing floor. God is cleaning up his threshing floor. And that threshing floor is the church. His winnowing fork is, it has a, it has two points there with, with, air, with, with air. And it blows through the shaft. Blows through the church. Jesus is coming blowing through the church to take away the shaft from you. Somebody say hallelujah. Somebody say, God, blow through the, blow, blow, blow. Somebody say, Jesus, blow through the church with your winner, win, fuck, blow. Ah, somebody say, hallelujah. His winner, win, fuck is in his hand right now to clear his threshing floor and to gather his wheat into his barn, into heaven. God's ready to, to gather his wheat. Gathering, gathering his people into his band. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. But he will burn up the shaft with unquenchable fire. He's coming through and he's blowing in the wheat and he's blowing. Hallelujah. He has his winnowing fork blowing, 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 blowing all the chaff because he wants all the chaff to blow away from you. Somebody say hallelujah. So he can set you aflame. Somebody say hallelujah. He doesn't want you to go to hell. Somebody said he doesn't want you to go to what? Yes. To hell. There's so many people who live so close to hell. God wants you to, to move away and live far away from hell. Somebody said hallelujah. What in hell's name you want to go to hell for? Why do you want to go to hell? I heard a preacher man this week say, even if he went to hell and preach and tell people to, to leave hell, they, they, they would not want to leave hell because there's so much disdain God and the gospel and righteousness. They would say, no, leave us alone, even in hell. And he says, they would want to stay in hell in the fire. That's how rebellion, rebellious people are today. Oh, somebody said, my God. That's what we need. An Elijah kind of fire. Somebody said, we need. An Elijah kind of fire. I think there's a song about that Elijah. Pray the fire down. Send some more Elijahs. There's an old song that said, Send some more Elijahs to pray the fire down. Mm -mm. Send some more Elijahs. Send the rain. Heal the sick. Raise the dead. And glorify his name. That's old. You gotta be in church for all time. Wonder, yes, yes. Sir. I tell you, I went to Trinidad preaching and I, I started raising a hymn. And the, and the preacher say that, that, that one is too old for us. It's from, it's from all here in the power book, but we be getting the kingdom a little shout. So I just see it all by myself. Somebody say, uh -huh. send some more. Somebody say, send some more Elijahs to pray the fire down. When you see the enemy sending chaos your way, call on the fire out from heaven. Somebody say, hallelujah. 
You know what I mean? Daniel revealed that God has the fire flowing out of him. So don't be afraid to call the fire down. Somebody say hallelujah. Yeah, somebody say hallelujah. So we learned that, that Jesus he is the baptizer in the fire. And so therefore we got to be desperate. Somebody say I got to be desperate for the fire from God. Somebody say I got to be desperate. Come on, somebody say come lift your hands and say God. I got to be desperate for the fire at home. Hallelujah. Lift up your hands for those who don't lift up their hands in church. But lift your hands up and say, God, I got to be desperate for the fire. Somebody say, hallelujah. We need it. Somebody say, we need it. Husbands, you need it for your wife. Wives, you need it for your husbands. Ah, hallelujah. Family, you need it for your children, your sons and daughters. Ah, somebody say, hallelujah. Businessmen, businesswoman, you need a fire. Hallelujah. To, hallelujah. In your life, for your business. Somebody say, hallelujah. We need, the church needs a fire for the island, the nation, the community that they're in. Somebody say, aha, uh -huh. and a church and fire is not right. A church without fire, it is not right in a community. We just don't want to be a part of the 120 churches in the Virgin Islands and people can't bring the sick and they can't bring the dead son to be raised from the dead. You're going to need some fire to do that. Somebody say, hallelujah. Somebody say, fire. You can't cast out demons without the fire. Somebody say hallelujah. You're going to know when the fire hits your church because people are going to bring the, the demonized to church. People are going to start bringing people out of from the hospital and put them behind there. And so let's let see what this fiery church can do. And we just preach and people start rising up off their beds. I can't hear you. Somebody say fire. Hallelujah. I tell you, listen, God did not create the church to be in a corner just cold like a, like, like a freezer. God did not create Global Life Church to be in a corner to be cold like a freezer. Come on, let's say that one more time. God did not ordain Global Life Church to be in a corner on this highway to be like a freezer. You come into church and you open the door, cold air blowing at you. No, not so. That while I'm around here. Somebody say, no, not so. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I want to be like a furnace. Let those open, um, uh, the senior people would know the outdoor um, furnace that they used to bake bread up into our toilet. You remember those uh, with, with the, um, the stone outside? Uh -huh. Don't throw them back, boy. Uh -huh. We're going to throw in our, we're going to throw in. Hallelujah, the locks. We're going to start a fire up in there and then we're going to clean it out and we're going to start putting it in the fire. And about 10 to 15 minutes, we got baked bread. Somebody say, uh huh. Somebody say, yeah, yeah. I want hallelujah. When we open it, well, hallelujah, look the doors, we have baked bread. We, and we want to, to enter into the bread of his presence. Somebody say, the bread of his what? Oh, come on, come on, come on. Come on, I'm going the best I could. Somebody said, when we come to the house of God, we want to see some what? Some baked goods. We want to see some bread of his presence. Somebody said, hallelujah. That when they went down to Bethlehem, the place of the bread, so we could get some food to eat, not only in the house, but people outside. So we got to watch it, so that we do not let religion, the temperature and what's happening in the media turn us down. Somebody said, aha. You know what I'm doing? I've been only there. I listen to see what's happening, but I'm spending more time in the presence of God. I'm not gonna let them waste my time. Yeah. Somebody said, uh-huh. Uh -huh. Even the president said he's he not listening to his own impeachment. So why should I be listening to it all day? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, come on. Yeah, somebody said, uh-huh. So this is a time. These are days uh, where people are distracted. Uh, yeah, you understand me? Distracted. And the enemy just setting up all these things. All these distractions is like a wet cloth to out your fire. One more time, one more time. All the distractions that you're facing right now in your life, in your family, in the media, in our nation. And even the church is caught up so much in politics. They don't know what to do and what to say when they're all the politicians. Somebody say, my God. They need to go read the Old Testament. When the man of God show up, they say, Thus said the Lord and ask nothing of the man of God and, and leave. Somebody say, uh-huh. Listen, I'm a wrong politician and I never bet them for one time. Somebody say, uh-huh. If I go and minister to them, and some of them might be listening to me, I am not afraid. I minister to them, I never ask for one dime or one dollar. Somebody say, uh-huh. Because they are not my paymaster. Nobody is my paymaster. Somebody say, hallelujah. God is. Somebody say, uh-huh. And I've been in the presence with other preachers as soon as they land. So that I don't do all the hard work and they just come in and they're asking for all kind of crazy stuff. They say, what the crap is this? We need a fire. The church needs a fire. The politicians can't solve the problem up in the church. I can't hear the house up in here. Come on, somebody say yes. So people can know you're alive, man. 
You understand? And sometimes God don't take you to some places until you are prepared. Some people are not prepared to go to the king's palace because when they go in the king's palace, they might steal all the gold and silver and they might be the one coming up with a painting. I hear nobody up in here. Woo! I feel God up in here. I feel God. Shakatabadanda. Reba Katashande. Come on, I feel God. Somebody say, I feel God. I feel God, I feel God, I feel God. Yeah, 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 I feel God. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shelaba rendo reba katashanda. Yeah, 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 reba katashanda. If you're hearing this for the first time, let's pray in the Holy Ghost. That's our hearts cry, crying out. Ah, oh, somebody say hallelujah. Shelaba rendo katashanda reba. The church needs a fire. The church needs a fire in the community. And the top shows there say, Where is where, where are the churches? Just oh, this last week, I heard them talking about churches. Yeah. Oh my god, we need churches to be set afire. Somebody say, Hallelujah! Somebody say, We need we need our church to be set afire. Somebody say, Hallelujah! Fire starter, fire starter. Somebody say, What? Ask it. Come on, let's do it. Let's do it. Prophesy, ask in this. Come on, let's prophesy. Come on. Back to an arsonist. Somebody say, ha, ha, ha. A kingdom arsonist. In case the body is watching. Kingdom arsonist. Like Peter, James, and John. Every place they went, they started a fire. And the fire started a ruckus. Somebody say, ha. You, you, you go to work tomorrow. And I tell you, as soon as you're walking, everybody in your, you start a fire in your workplace. And the manager comes and says, Why are all these people here? And the knees crying out to God and saying, Jesus. Jesus. Can you stand up? Can you stand up? I, I can't hear. I, I can't hear the church. You go to work. Will you scarcely open your Christian mouth? But the Holy Spirit said, Today, I got you. And then you see how the evening before you went to work. Somebody said, uh-huh, uh-huh. You see people all rolling on the floor. Oh my God, you see chaos. And they said, Who should we call? The police? The FBI? The CIA? I can't sit back and call my pastor some place. Yes. Woo, I feel God. Somebody say, I feel God. I feel God. I feel God. God. God on the days when the preacher preach a message and he drop on your back like a duck's back. Yes. I, 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 you understand me? We be a preaching for manifestation. Yes. That somebody is a pastor. Yes. It's preaching for manifestation. Yes. Put your hand on your head and say, this fire is for me. Yes. If you have your hand, put it on your head and say, this fire, watching us. This fire, we're preaching for manifestation. This fire is for me. Huh? Somebody said this Holy Ghost fire is for me. Ah, somebody said hallelujah. hallelujah. The concentration. Hallelujah. When Jesus comes and he baptizes you with the fire of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. It's a concentration of the fire yeah. of the Holy Spirit from heaven. Hallelujah. It drops upon you. Hallelujah. Ignites your spirit, soul of fire. Somebody said, uh -huh. ah. Some people sing, uh, sing a song and say, my God, uh, uh, I think we sang it say, I wish the Holy Spirit would set my soul on fire. Set your spirit on fire. Man, I tell you, when the fire hits you, you don't know what is on fire. Your toes on fire, fingernail on fire, here on fire. Somebody say, uh-huh. You can't even, no, no man can out the fire. Somebody say, uh-huh. You're going home in the kitchen, turn on the fire, boom, fire in you again. I can't hear the house up in here. Somebody say, we need the fire. Not only to talk about it, preach about it. Lord God, we need a demonstration and a manifestation of the fire. Somebody show us a God. We need the what? The demonstration and the manifestation. Can you say it with your own English mouth, Spanish mouth, French mouth? And say, God, I we need the demonstration of the fire of God. Not only to hear it and preach it, but we need a demonstration. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. Lift your hands up and say, God, demonstrate the fire. In my life, I can't hear somebody say, Demonstrate, demonstrate. The men need it for their husband, the men need it for their lives. Businessmen, businesswomen need it. Come on, we need it, we need it, we need it. We need it to refuel our lives. You like the rocket I talked about last week? Like that rocket, I don't know if you can find that rocket. Like that rocket we showed last week, in order for that rocket to leave the earth, there has to be some kind of combustion. Only in the church, we don't want to, to mix the mixture, we just want to be lethargical. We want to be easy. We don't want the fire. Somebody said, uh-huh. We don't want God, the Holy Spirit. We have in church, 
and then and God say you must have Holy Spirit in your church and then people say we don't want the, the Holy Spirit in our church and then we have church and then and then God said we need the fire and they say uh -huh, we gonna have church but we don't want the fire somebody said uh-huh hey just say you should have healing in the church somebody said we gotta have fire but we ain't gonna have no healing in the church I know. I know. Jesus. <laughs> somebody said mm, religion is the worst thing that could ever happen and preachers pleasing people in the pew could be the worst thing that happened to a church and so preachers gonna go to hell because pleasing the guy in front there who gave them a little three hundred dollars uh, something a year yeah. uh, five hundred thousand or million hey my guy, guy just dropped some stuff to control the past here a million dollars in the plate and so you don't talk about the holy ghost here the fire here the healing here and the, the preacher just stand up and hold on tight as he can to the lectern as tight Watch them. You see my TV to the hold on as tight as I can. Can't even move. Because somebody in the in the congregation got them tied up with some kind of money. I feel God today. I feel, I feel an anointing just. I feel an anointing just set. Men of God free. I feel an anointing just set. Men of God free, 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 free. Sunday begin to preach like you have never preached before. Preach, preach. Tell yourself, Luke, still it. Hallelujah. All the Ahabs and Jezebel's there. Look on. Tell the Ahabs and the Jezebel's want to come show you. Look on. That's that of God. Woo! Somebody say, Hallelujah. Come on, put your hands together. Say something. Say something. Jesus. Somebody say, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Unreligious people, why God can't, why Jesus can't baptize people in the church? Because religious churches don't even let Jesus in. Just imagine you're having church and you will not let Jesus in to do his work. You will not let the Holy Spirit in to do his work. So Jesus cannot come in and baptize the church with the Holy Spirit and then follow it up with fire. Somebody say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody say Jesus, Jesus. Come on, lift up our hands. Lord, we pray for the church. We pray for the church. Lord, we pray. Jesus, you're welcome in this church. Somebody say, Jesus, you are welcome in Global Life Church. Somebody say, Jesus, you're welcome in Global Life Church to baptize us in water, baptize us in the Holy Spirit, and baptize us in, hallelujah, the Holy Spirit with fire. Somebody say, hallelujah, fire, the fire. The fire dimension is what we need. What's lacking in the church in the, in the 21st century? is the fire. fire what's lacking in the church in the 21st century is the fire the fire i'm talking about fire of the holy ghost when the holy spirit baptizes you in the pit the concentrated fire of the holy spirit fire in your eyes fire on your tongue so therefore your speech will change some christian their speech ain't change Fire in your ears. Some, some Christian, their song and their sound has that change. Fire on your feet. Because when you go into the water to be baptized, you are immersed. When you're going, when you're going into the fire, you are immersed. So your walk will be different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not hearing the church up in here. Somebody groan. Somebody groan in the spirit. I feel a groan. I feel a groan. I feel a groan. And I feel a groan. I feel a groan. I feel a groan. Groan. Just groan in the Holy Ghost. Groan. Just groan in the Holy Spirit. To set this place on fire. Baptism of fire. Baptism of fire. Woo! Baptism of fire. The church needs a baptism of fire. The church. The church. I'm not going to call any church name, but church is molesting their young people. Church is molesting their people. Instead of building more churches and advancing the kingdom, they have to be paying out money. The church needs a fire of God. Call me to them churches to release the fire of God. We need the fire. That's what's lacking. Fire. Ain't no laws, no decrees. It's the fire. Somebody said the fire, the fire, the fire. The fire, the fire. Somebody said the fire. And that's that why God is preventing and protecting our young generation. Because they used to be in the church on fire. And we've been molesting our young people. The men molesting the, the young men and the women molesting the young women. Ah, somebody said hallelujah. Somebody said the fire, the fire, the fire. I can't hear you. are going to sleep in there, man. So the fire. The fire and everything. 
that's out in the world we bring it into the into the into the church because the churches are dead and the churches don't have any fire to stand up and so we have to lose our strength the church has lost its voice because we do not have the fire one more time the church has lost its voice because we don't have any fire in the church and the fire starts us up in the pulpit Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. The moment you preach like how I preach, they will watch me and say, I wonder who you think he is. I'm a fire starter. Somebody said, Pastor is a fire starter. Come on, say it like you believe it. Somebody said, Pastor is a what? Fire starter. Now people will look at me and say, when they hit me and they'll say, This guy must be crazy. How come I preach and don't preach like how he's preaching? Because I'm a fire starter. Because I'm a kingdom arsonist. Somebody say hallelujah. Now because I want a fire of God in my life to take up all the, to blow out the dross and everything. Because I want to go in the big band up in heaven. Somebody say hallelujah. I don't want to be a cop out preacher to say that God, all you say gonna happen in the last days. We gotta show up and set the place of fire. Somebody say set the place of fire. Everybody stand up, everybody stand up, everybody stand, everybody stand, touch people, everybody stand, everybody stand, come on. Everybody stand, everybody stand, wave your hands. Come on, wave your hands. Wave your hands, wave your hands. Wave your hands. This is a sermon to shut down the hell. Come on, come on. This is a shut down the hell. Wave your hand if you can. Do something, move. Move. Prophetically move at home. It's not going to move into the fire. Prophetically move, we are gonna move into the fire. Prophetically, just move, just move. Just move. This is this this sermon has some movement to it. I feel the fire of God. Come on. This is, it has some movement. It, it is not one of those stand still and see. This is a move into the fire. Ah, somebody say hallelujah. This is moving into the fire. Woo! Because Jesus is a fire starter. And it shows us with Shadrach, Mishak, and the Oh, I love it, sir. That day they had it ten times hotter. Yeah. But the fire starter came in and just changed the aura and the atmosphere in the fire. Because he was carrying the, the baptism of the Holy Spirit fire upon him. Yeah. And those guys, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they were baptized in the Holy Ghost fire, in the natural fire. Ah, somebody say hallelujah. Come on, put your hands together for that revelation. Come on, come on. Because Jesus, the baptizer in the fire, came into the fire with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They were baptized. Somebody said, Hallelujah. When you're, when you're baptized in the fire of the Holy Spirit, no other fire, Hallelujah, you can touch you. Somebody said, Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. Woo! Somebody said, Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, we gotta start warming ourselves with people yeah. who are hot. Yeah. We gotta start warming ourselves with people who are on fire yeah. and who are desperate for something. Somebody said, Desperate. Refuse to let the, the enemy put you on freeze. Yeah, yeah. People who want freeze will get freeze or burn. Come on, people who want what? Freeze. They get freeze or burn. And afterwards, you don't see them show up at church because what? They are what? Freeze. But God wants you to be hanging with people. So I say, I have a sermon that I that, that I, I I'm writing on hang around all of the upper room people. Oh, you gotta hear that one. So I say hang around the what? Come on, I can't hear somebody say, hang around what? Oh. Upper room people. Upper room people are people who are on fire. Yeah. Somebody say, hallelujah. hallelujah. And upper room people are people after, after they, they have left the upper room, they are starting more fires. Yeah. Oh, somebody say, hallelujah. hallelujah. So somebody say, hang around, hang around, hang around. Find somebody, hang around, hang around. Upper room people. Ah, oh, somebody say, hallelujah. Stop hanging around, tata tail people. Stop, uh, come on, come on, stop with Oh, come on, busy, busy cattail people. Oh, when they come in your prison, they always have some kind of saucy, yeah. spicy tale to tell you about another sister or brother. Leave them alone and run, run, run and find somebody who you can pray with in the Holy Ghost and the telephone. Oh. Am I hearing the church? Yeah. We need some fire. Somebody said, We need some fire. We need some fire. Yeah. We need to cool up in this church. Oh. Hey, 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 you. Oh, we need to cool. And I don't want us to get like freeze or burn. I don't want nobody else to get freeze or burn up in here. Come on, somebody help me pray. And say, we don't want nobody else to get what? Freeze or burn up in here. There are other believers waiting upon Global Life Church to catch a fire. There are other pastors in other countries waiting for us to catch a fire. There's some, there's some other churches here locally wants us to catch a fire. Somebody say hallelujah. They're wondering what's happening upon Global Life Church. We can't hear nothing. But today we're hearing about fire. Somebody say fire. Come on, from the birds of fire. 
church can be on fire each of us individually have to be on fire we are the um like the coal as you as each the fire starters so each of us like i don't say answer this but each of us has like the coal you are cold you are cold you are cold you are cold and put it all together if you notice in with those fires 
some strong homes. We come whatever kind of home. Once the fire gets started, it's going with it. Fire going over water, skipping over water, and going to the other house. It takes over everything. And so the church is supposed to be in charge, leading and taking over, just like the natural fire. So it's not waiting for the church to do it, but think of yourself individually, being a fire starter. And once you get together, it, it, there's no stopping. Just, just think of the natural fire, how they can't contain it. They're calling people from different states to help them, and they can't put it out. They put water around the, the, the houses, and they still can't stop it. That's how the church of God is supposed to be, on fire continuously. Amen? Just how California continues to burn, we are supposed to be continuously burning, continuously on fire. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah, that's good, that's good. That's an awesome analogy. An awesome analogy. Lord, oh, your home of the sweet is to go back to, to Hallelujah. Go back to Matthew 311. Matthew 311 is your homework. He will baptize you. you. Put your name in your Bible. He will baptize Oral Hazel with the Holy Spirit and the fire. You don't need a man to baptize with the Holy Spirit. And you don't need a man to baptize you with fire. Your homework this week, everybody has listened to us. Let's go to Matthew 311 and say, Holy Spirit, be my baptizer. No, say, Jesus, be my baptizer. In the Holy Spirit and with fire. It's time for us to stop turning down the heat. Ah, oh, come on, we want to be well done. Someone say, Well done, well done, well done. The true and faithful one. The fire will make us well done. It's coming up for our church without what? Spot. Any wrinkle. The fire is the one. You, when, 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 you, when you want to take the wrinkle out of your clothing, what you do, you turn on the heater and you do what? You go for it. The, the, the iron and you do what? And you go for the wrinkle. The heat, the fire takes it out. Somebody say hallelujah. In the old time days, we had the goose. And we put the, the hallelujah on the, on the, on the senior folks like we would know. And you got the goose and you put in the coals. And you get your, 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 your wet cloth and you And you kind of And then you come and you iron down. You young people don't know nothing about that. You young American folks don't know about that. Goose. I feel, I feel, I feel fire. I feel fire in the house. I feel fire in the house. Ooh, see that standing, close your eyes as a fire, fire. See that standing, whatever you are, fire for healing. The fire of God will heal you. The fire of God will go before you and devour sin out of your life, sin out of your household, sin out of your family. Fire will go in your speech when you call somebody on the telephone. Fire will, the fire in your life is transferable. Ah, that's why the enemy keeping us away from the fire. Somebody say, Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Woo! Fire, 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 fire. Fire, that's why the churches are so weak and initiated and so begrimed by sin. And this church doesn't have a voice. That's why the outside is closing down the voice of the church. And there are people outside. They are singing more fire songs than inside the church. We gotta come up with some fire songs. Woo! Just worship him, just worship him. Let's just worship him in the spirit. If you want, you can stand, stand again and just worship him. Yeah, just lift your hands up. Come on, there's a few of us, just lift your hands up wherever you are. Lift it, lift it, lift it. Lift it. Bend hands down. Fire, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Lift it, 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 lift to go blow, blow in my life, blow in our lives. Take up all the drugs and the blood and the easily set in sin. Set us a fire for our family. Set us a fire for our husbands, our wives, our children, our, our jobs. Set us a fire to take out the little foxes. 
change our walk, change our talk. Change, changes, changes, changes. Somebody say fire, fire, fire. Fire to burn the world out of me. Some of us are too close to the world. Some of you are the more worldly sons than sons in the church. You need to go, you need to visit YouTube and start looking some worship and praise. And turn it on in your house and then leave your house with worship in your house and come up with worship in your house. Some of you need to listen to your pastor 24 hours. I'm on YouTube. Just go to YouTube and put in all the gates up. And you will see your pastor preaching 24 hours. We have over 300 sermons on more up on YouTube. That's if you want to be in the fire. Ooh, you can't let other people in the world do anything you can't do it. Just say today I want to have a feast with my pastor. You can have it if you want to. Go to YouTube. Go to our website. And you'll go and listen from one sermon to the next. Have church in your house. Run around your church. Get filled and refilled. Get saved on your saved. How bad do you want it? How bad do you want it? How far removed from the world do you want it? Can we help? Can we help our friends? Can we help our relatives? Can we help our household? Can we help somebody? Because we need our help. We need fire that they can see. And you don't even have to tell them I'm going to ask this. They come in your presence. There's a sweet somebody. Um, some here they say, you, you look like a Sunday school teacher. And then somebody said, no, he's a preacher. Fire starters. Fire made me look like a Sunday school teacher to the person. Uh, fire, fire, fire. This week on purpose. Because we are preaching for practical. We are preaching for practical and for theology. We are preaching for practical theology. We are preaching practical theology. That means what you have preached out of the Word of God. The written Word of God in the trap fall upon your people and let it become resident and alive in their life. God are the days of religion. God are the days of religion. Religion can't heal you. Religion can't save you. This island we live in is filled with religion. Religion and every corner. People go to the church and when they leave church they live any old way they want to. That's why St. Thomas is in the way it is. That's why you hear gunshots blaring out at night in your neighborhood. If we run fire, that won't happen. Them folks will be coming to church with us. While we're outside with a gun, there was a fire on our church, on our house, in the community. Hey, 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 hey. And they will run, drop their gun and run. Jesus. Jesus. Lord, we stop. We, we repent. Lord, we repent of dumbing down Jesus and dumbing down the baptism of the Holy Spirit and dumbing down the baptism of the Holy Spirit with fire. God, we are crying out. We are desperate. At Global Life Church, we are desperate. And all during this week, the intercessors are going to pray. God, we are desperate at Global Life Church. We are desperate. Those who could fast, fast. Those who could pray, pray. Those who could just drive without fasting and praying, just say, God, we are desperate at Global Life Church. We just don't want to be a, a part of the 120 churches and we look cold and we are freezer burn. One brother sent me a, a, a text and he says, if your, if your church closes this week, will the community miss you? So I, I said, I'm thinking. I said, my God. If your church, Global Life Church, closes this week with a community miss. I'm, I'm surprised that we are on the highway. And a lot of people don't know. Sometimes I run into people say, Where is the church? I start telling everybody, send my sweet picture to other times. But the devil could blind people's eyes. We need the fire yeah. of God and our signage. Come on, somebody say, We need the fire of God and our signage. And religious people will do the hoodoo and voodoo and your signage too. So Father, right now we just send the fire. Somebody said we send the what? The fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People are crazy. We send the fire on our signage on the highway. And then our, our signage flame and bright. Really? So people could see it. Shh. 
We've had people passing down the highways and I hear the heard a sound and they came and we need more people to hear the sound. This ain't it, this ain't it, this ain't it. Come on, somebody who's still praying with their pastor, seated out standing, said this ain't it, this can't be it. Come on, somebody said this ain't it. This is a church on religious mode, come on. We need a church on fire remote. Somebody said this ain't it, 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 this ain't it. This ain't it. Your pastor, God, and Jesus, and the Holy Spirit looking for a church and fiery mode. We're gonna end it this year on a fiery mode. So we want people fasting and praying. We need people importuning. It doesn't matter what's happening in your life. Hallelujah. Because you'll throw chaos as you. If I were to stand here and tell you what's all, what's all happening in my life, chaotic, you'll say, What? You up here still preaching? But the fire. And I'm stepping into the fire. Somebody say what? Stepping into the fire. Somebody say what? Stepping into the fire. Come on, somebody say what? Ooh. I used to be cool. And I'm like a cool machine. Like a cool operator because I'm in the fire. Somebody say hallelujah. Because I'm telling God, listen. If Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego will be in the fire, nothing will stress me out. No, that's a hope. Somebody say, uh-huh. So I'm stepping in the fire with Jesus. Hey, your pastor is what? Stepping in the fire with Jesus. With everything that's going around the contrary, contrary winds and the enemy putting down his best pressure for me to buckle. I'm stepping in the fire with Jesus because I know Jesus can change the atmosphere in the fire. Oh, somebody say, hallelujah. Somebody say, Jesus is an atmospheric change in the fire that you're going through right now. Lift your hands up and say, Jesus, change the fire. I'm giving you an opportunity. I'm giving you an opportunity. Some of you want to know to get your white rice. But I'm giving some of you an opportunity to break chains and to let chains drop and ropes drop and to get infused with the power of the Holy Spirit. I'm giving somebody a chance. Not that I don't want to go home to. I'm giving somebody a chance in the house, out the house, to jump in the fire, to jump in the fire. Say, God, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in, I'm all in, I'm all in. Not down the river, on the bank of the fire, I'm in the fire now. Somebody say, I'm in the fire now. Your life will be better when you get into the fire. Your life is acting crazy and crooked because you're not in the fire. And you don't even don't know that there's a devil putting all the fire and the heat upon you because he wants to keep you all, all the range and discombobulated. But I want some people to step into the fire this morning. Ah, somebody says, step, 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 step. Step in the fire. I'm giving some people some chance. I'm giving the church a little chance for the fire to move. For some of you to take home a little bit of blind the fire to your husband, to your wife, to your children, to your grandchildren, to your workplace. Woo! And bring it, and then you get your fire all hot and heated and maybe on some Sunday and Wednesday, whenever we meet. Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Come on, somebody say, Jesus, Jesus. You have never seen a church in fire. You have never seen a church in fire. Church on fire, the highway is jammed. 24 hours. I'm not on a Sunday only, but the highway jammed with folks coming to church on 24 7. I will tell you, you to start giving you, hallelujah, hours to be here. 24 hour service, 24 7. Without the fire, we'll just have a Sunday morning only. Shit. Our church on fire will go into 24 hours, seven days a week. You've never seen that. Azusa had that. But that's history. What about now? What about now? What about now? What about now? Shit. I feel something. I feel something. Shit. Break, break barriers. I don't think what people would say when they see you. I don't care. They don't my pay pass. They don't give me the food. They don't send me the offering. They don't ask me for the offering. Yeah, so why should I think what they think? Shit, I'm 
doesn't matter what kind of laws yeah. our politicians pass. The church is the one and is the arbiter to bring in God's laws back in the house. Because if we have people in, in the, the land that are not using the laws that the government pass, then they become null and void. The government can pass all the laws they want, sin laws or whatever they call them, to placate voters to give them a vote. But if the church will arise with fire in their bosom, fire in their mouth, the laws will be on the book and the people in a community, a nation, will not have to use the laws because the churches will, 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 will arise. Present the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm going to try to stop. I'm going to try to stop. So we're going to pray. We're going to, we're going to, we're going to sign out. We're going to sign out. Hallelujah. We're going to just wind down if we can. We'll tell you we continue home. Hallelujah. And so, Father, as we pray for those folks who are watching us, cause and sense the impact of the Holy Spirit upon our lives, cause and descend the impact of Jesus upon our lives, cause them also to ask Jesus to come into their lives, come into their heart, and say, Jesus, baptize me with the Holy Spirit. Let's open your mouth and say, Jesus, come into my life, and then say, Jesus, baptize me with the Holy Spirit. And then you say, Jesus, baptize me with the fire of the Holy Spirit, and he will do it for you. He will do it for you. Do it for us, we pray. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. We love you as we sign out. Let's put our hands together. We sign out. And begin.